Welcome back everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I have one of my members who has been in the room before and who gave impressions about my system five months ago. Now five months ago I had a Focal Maestro Evo. I had the 2110 Boulder preamplifier, the 3060 stereo amplifier which is still here and the uh, I had transparent Opus cables. Now today, you're back to hear an entire different, an entirely different presentation. Um, and we just wrapped up the uh, you know that listening session. And he obviously, you guys know the system now has completely changed. Okay, so you got to hear, and it's going to be hard for him, of course, to articulate like what did what because he's hearing an entire system now so um, basically what I want is for him of course to what he to, to give you guys what he remembers from my system five months ago to, you know to what it is today um, and we heard about what approximately 30 minutes more or less yeah about a half hour minutes, of yeah. different songs which includes songs that he is familiar with and actually songs that he heard the last time he was here so we try to replicate as much as possible what we did in the past and so i'm curious to know what he thinks about this system in comparison to my last system which had focal maestro evos okay so before we get into that you know the drill subscribe hit that like button continue to support me uh, and do not forget to check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com, where I have a lot of content, exclusive content, behind the scene content for those of you who want more of what I am doing here behind closed doors. There is so much more there, okay, that you're never going to see here on YouTube, okay, including the upcoming shootout of three of the, mo the most widely known DACs out there, DCS, um, MSB and I'm still trying to decide what that third DAC will be so that will go live first on my website before YouTube okay so be sure to check that out okay so let's get right into it um, thank you for being here again number one appreciate you visiting <laughs> uh, thank you for being a member of my website too and supporting the course I appreciate that um, and um, I want you to first start with your system because that's something that was asked of me in the past okay people wanted to know you guys were asking me what system does he have so that they understand you know what you currently have at home i know and if you're in the middle of building make sure you say that too yeah sure sure well thanks for having me and i'm like a a bad penny i keep uh, turning <laughs> up <laughs> popping up uh but again thank you um well, at, at home, I have a, a pair of Martin Logan um, ESL 13, mm -hmm. uh, soon to be uh, upgraded to 15. I hope my wife is not watching this. <laughs> uh, and um, I've tried a lot of different amps with those. Um, I started with the power sound that didn't work. Uh, I found a Class A CH 2200. I put it up against uh, a, um, uh, hold on, I'm, I'm having a, a black moment. Yeah, a black <laughs> moment, um, the 250.5. Um, okay, Pass Lab? Pass Lab. Yes. Um, and a Plinius SA120. Uh, and amazingly enough, what worked for me uh, was the Class A. It was, it was a better amp. Than the two, than the two others. Oh wow! Uh, I just picked up. Uh, it will be. It's waiting for me. Uh, that my wife is aware of. Uh, it's waiting for me at home. A. Um, Luxman nine hundred. A leg, yeah, a Luxman M nine hundred. Uh, and I have a small DAC that I need to upgrade. Um, so, but that's that's pretty much what I have, and it's in a dedicated room uh, that I've treated a little bit. Okay. Uh, but that sounds okay. It's not the best, but it's it's. Um, so, what we've what I've heard today uh, is a very different presentation from last time. I'm the Maestro Focal. Yes. Okay. Well, it's, um, let me just make sure I say this. Okay. It wasn't just a speaker swap 
there are different components here. We have a different cabling system, which I I am intending to represent soon. I don't know yet. Um, it's not a for sure thing. So you have different cables, and also we have a different preamplifier, a significantly different preamplifier, Boulder 3010, um, and so and the different models. speakers. Yeah. So, but it's not just a speaker. So I don't want you guys to turn in and turn this into magical versus full cow. That's not what we're doing here. It's a different system, basically 80% different system. So yeah. go ahead. So if I had not known what you were driving the speakers with, uh, I would have said, this sounds like a big two monoblocks tubes. Tubes? It, yeah, because very, very present, very warm, um, very round, but not in a bad way because the height are very, are, are, are very uh, present. At the same time, the bass is the best bass I've heard. It's the third time I come here and the bass is perfect. It's just the right amount. It's tight. And so you scratch your head and you go, <laughs> no, this is not, it, it can be tube. And then I ask you, well, those are two mono class A. And you said, yes. And I said, well, that's, that's, you can hear it. You, you uh, hear it it's, yeah. it's, it gives you, it gives you a warmth that um, we haven't been used to listen uh, here. And I think it's a different presentation. Your taste might be a little uh, changing. You gave us some really crisp, clean, almost sometimes too clean for some of us. Yes. Sound. And it's now a little warmer, a little more presence. Uh, but at the same time, you have the speed, you have the strength, you have the Again, what I said last time, and the this sound. is why I still miss at home the, the, depth, the, and the, the depth and the and, and, and the width. The width. Definitely. That that I don't have at home. Um, but I'm thinking when I it's been uh, I visited you three times. Yeah. Um, and the level of the sound you have reached, the level which is top notch. At this point, it's not going to get better and better and better. Right. It's more your taste, my taste, the taste of your viewers, of of the people that uh, are on your on your on your website. Uh, we all like you'll be uh, driving a Porsche. I'll be driving a McLaren. The next guy will have a Ferrari. They all think it's the best car in the world, and so. This is where you come in, where you've listened to everything yes. and you can help us yeah. to say, That's well, be careful with this and this and this, because yeah. this is not going to work at all. Um, and that, that's where you are. Every time it's a different, it's a different sound. I like this one better than the other, but someone else might not. Got it. And it's yeah. really, this is what I am now when I come uh, in, your, uh, in your room. So. So compared to um, to a panel, you know, to yeah, Martin Logan, we'll yeah, electrostatic, I'm missing a little bit of transparency. Okay. But at the same time, on the Martin Logan, you can almost hear the the the, the panel vibration from time to time. There is a, there is a color to them, and you don't have that in here. Again, it's a matter of your personal taste. What are you trying to to achieve? Yeah. And that's where you come in. Do you, okay, so the color definition that you're talking about with panels, I mean, yes, you're right. And, and as we know, the system here is, as I'm trying to get every color out of it. Like I'm completely trying to draw on a blank sheet of paper and I just want to grab pencils and create my own story. Yep. And I think that that's one thing that I'm, that I'm really doing with the system to your point. The bass, you're the second person who has gone on record to say it's the best bass you've ever heard here. Absolutely. It's devastating the bass the, at any volume level. The point, It almost makes you wonder, you know, and, and I wish people could hear it. I wish everyone out there could hear this system because it's going to tell you, number one, the bass you might be missing at home because that's, that's going to be clear, like what you're missing. Yep. The layering of the bass, you hear... When we were listening to that one song uh, by uh, Kashmir, I think it is called, that the bass notes just dropped to the floor and you felt it, it just makes your feet like yeah, even I vibrate. It's I laughed because I was like, wow, you don't need a sub. Yeah, and, and, and of course, sub, subs are always 
just a supplemental thing. So you add more layers to the music yeah. that speakers simply are oftentimes unable to hit. Now, one of the reasons why I have not added subs, which I again I'm going to say it, it's not it's not because I don't believe that they don't do positive things. I think subwoofers do things that regular speakers are unable to do unless you perhaps have a massive cabinet with bigger drivers that can hit as low as a subwoofer. And not only low, it's just the dimensions of the what the sub adds throughout the entire frequency band. You see what I'm saying? But because I'm reviewing amplifiers all the time, I need a speaker like what I have here to give me the story. Am I losing yeah. ways with this? amplifier yeah. is it lacking yeah. is it adding is it accurate is it booming so that's one of the reasons why i maintain full range speakers and then you said the system sounds rounded more rounded than than you remember before fuller sounding rounded and you've almost felt like the high frequency seems a little tuby you said that it has this glow of tubes yeah, a little bit, but not, you know, some people are going to say, oh, it's, it's not as clear as it should be. And it's not the case. It's really, it's more of a, as you're going to get a turntable. Yes. Next. It's more, it, it goes towards an analog sound. That's what I found on, <laughs> on this presentation. See, see what he said, so, right? He's, it's funny that you said that. Okay, so um, I agree with that. And I never thought you were going to be able to... I'm glad because you're bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> I am glad that you picked it up because I didn't think that you were going to be able to immediately notice that. Uh, but I am attempting at doing something that I perhaps never bothered to do, which is how can I make an, a, a digital source um, not sound digital, essentially. Yeah. As, right? Exactly. And I think I am doing a better job at mitigating that. I am trying different ways of making the system sound more human, more natural, less synthetic. Right? And you'll, you'll listen to this for five hours without any fatigue. And, and see, funny, because again, no fatigue, right? So you're not picking up brightness. Yeah. You were pretty... So if you're listening to the presentations that you have heard, the last three presentations of the new cable system that I have here, the cable loom, uh, if you're picking up brightness, one, it could be my mistake. Maybe I recorded things too loud where the microphone is just being too excited with the, with, you know, with the volume level. So I ask you to forgive me for that. Or two, maybe how the system is trans translating into your room is creating some sort of a mismatch along the way where maybe your system is picking up my system as being bright. There's too many variables to really pinpoint what is happening once it gets processed on YouTube and it gets into your rooms and into your systems. But from in here, he just validated the fact that there is no brightness in here. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I, I really feel like with this cable line, I have started to understand the difference between natural and supernatural sound. And I'm gonna be making a video about this in the future. Uh, something that needs to be said that I think a lot of people have never really even bothered to discuss, which is, should we find the right cable system for us, depending on our listening habits, depending on how loud you listen, depending on how low a volume you listen? And I'm starting to believe more than ever that there is such thing as the perfect cables for you, not for everybody, yep. for you. And if you are listening at a certain volume level, in my opinion, that volume level may not be applicable to others. So maybe a different cable comes into question. Should you be listening to a warmer cable, for instance, if you're blasting your eardrums with reggae music and rock and roll? Maybe in that type of system, you don't want a bright or forward sounding cable. You may need a warmer cable, right? But maybe that person, you have someone else who listens late at night, not trying to wake up it, you know, the wife and the kids, but they want all the extreme clarity and resolution and beautiful things that are hiding in the presentation. That person may need a cable that is all about this extreme detail and revealing character. See what I'm saying? So in the future, I plan to create, I plan to talk about this. Uh, but what you heard today, going back to your point, 
about the analog feeling or just much more natural sounding, part of it is due to the new cables that I have in the room. And I've had a lot of questions and inquiries about the cables. I'm not in position yet to disclose what they are. Uh, maybe over the next few weeks I will. Uh, but the system as a whole, if you were to give me the highlights of, uh, and, and I know it's tough because it's been five months and we have a short memory when it comes to audio. It's been a minute since you've been here. Um, give me, if you can articulate the highlights, two highlights, maybe three highlights of the, the, the Focal Maestro with the components that were here five months ago and what you heard today best as you can i know it's yeah, tough well that's that's what i said earlier um on the focals we talked about there was a little bit of coloration at some point which is which is known for the focal to uh, this They're is color. whatever They're a little color agreed they, there's a little uh, color um and again it's my own assessment no uh, I, I agree as, with you there as you often coloration. say i mean um i could i could live with this system um a little better really uh, and yeah because okay. it, it's it's rounder uh, but I would tweak it to give me a little bit more transparency you know it's just a little bit not losing that fullness and that that uh, you know that yeah the body that, the, the body the flesh yeah the body the, the body deep. But it's funny it's, that you say that because it has me intrigued actually that if you want that you want a little more transparency of the system because um, you know having Boulder 3050s magical loudspeakers which are notorious for being extremely extremely revealing speakers and you know basically all, most of my components are you know revealing I'm starting to wonder then maybe if indeed what you're saying has to do with a particular mismatch in the system or does it have to do with the fact that I, I literally just got these new outlets less than 24 hours ago um, and, and, and the amplifiers are still, you know, kind of telling me, hey, give me a minute, give me, you know, a few days before I can, you know, really begin to tell you everything that's happening. I don't know. Power cores, like I said, they're very new and so are the outlets. So, well. We'll know, we'll know in a few weeks. I, I ain't coming back for at least six months. So, so six months, you we'll have be back until take, next year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so maybe it might not be the same system either in yeah. six months, it, knowing my track record. There's a good chance. <laughs> knowing my track record. So, but I am <laughs> yes. curious to know uh, as far as, now it could be also the fact that, you know, panels are extremely revealing and transparent. And that's... Panels are, they do things that no box speaker, in my opinion, can do. And that's, not everything, but that's, they do things you're right. that and no that's, box speaker can do. Yeah, and that's what I feel at home. It's I love their transparency, but sometimes I'm missing the body. I'm missing a little bit of of that, yeah, of that roundness. So it's it's uh, again, it, it's it's matching and and searching for the sound you you like. So and, and the next guy might not like yeah. actually. And I and I believe you mentioned that it's hard to get better at this level. You're just changing the flavor. You're changing the Ex colors. Exactly. At that level, because everything is there. Everything, the, every single instrument, it's very clear. You have the image, you have everything. But it's really, it, it comes down to what do you like? What, what makes you, uh, why did you marry this one rather than that one? You know, it's your it's personal idea. taste. So it's the same with cars and you live in the house and not, not, the, not the neighbors because it's different and you don't like the furniture and stuff. It's the same with, with at that level, it's not bad. Your system, everything I've heard, well, on, on the Wilson, it was lacking a little bass. Okay, so, <laughs> but, okay, well, tell it, tell it to the audience. So yeah. we had the, you know, I'm not holding him hostage if you're thinking that, he's speaking as mine. <laughs> I don't, I don't take anything personal, it's a system, and if he's giving me positive criticism, all that makes me do is look into what he's talking about and see maybe where that may be coming from and make adjustments. So, you know, but go ahead and talk about the uh, Wilson XLF. It was a long time ago, but what I remember is the, the, the it didn't have, the, for such big speaker, the bass was not, was far from this. Uh, was not as good as on the Focals and was not as good as what I have at home with the teeny little ESL 13 that are they're way, powered. way... Yeah, they're powered, right? You have power. Yes, yeah, yeah. 
they are little uh, speakers compared so, to those monsters. When they, you know, when so, they, yeah. they cost what you twenty thousand. Uh, the which one? The, the, the excellence? The, no, no, the 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 thirteens. Uh, oh yeah, the most, thirteen. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thing that is very difficult. It's to, a small speaker, and the bass I had was kind of better than. Yes. The, so I was surprised. So you know, this has to do a lot with uh, what I have said in the past. You know, when you're dealing with ported cabinets. It's a hit or miss game, um, and 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 I mean specifically rear ported cabinets, down firing cabinets, which is what Focal has. Um, to me, when it comes to bass, it's a little more of an it's an easier proposition to get better bass because you're interacting. Yeah, the whole room is coming into play, but you're interacting with the foundation, the bottom of the of the room, right, and the ceiling. But when you have rear ported speakers, you have to be mindful of the wall behind. So I am going to say that maybe in my room, the XLFs, you know, because they are large speakers, uh, but maybe in my room, they needed a little more space to spread. Yeah. And I didn't have that for them. <clears throat> and so that kind of led me to understand that if I would have had the larger room where they really were far away from the walls and, and I had more space to wiggle them and move them around the room, I would have gotten just the impact that we that That's, I think they're capable of. It doesn't mean they can't do yeah, it. It's just it, that it's, in, it's just I think because think about it, they're yeah. huge woofers. There's no way that that doesn't put out insane wet bass. It has to. It has to. And we had a modification here, so it's not like it was lucky. You're going to get a lot of hate mail going like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, XLF, they have bass. Yes, but in that instance, it was lacking. It was lacking the bass. Compared to what you have, same room. Same room. Different, D different, different uh, speakers, and the position was, you know, the XLF, XLF were around that area, you know, about eight, eight, ninety percent of where yeah. those are, uh, give or take. But I, um, you know, and the Alex also had even the same issue, although I had more space to move them around. Uh, they still didn't have this level of yeah. the deep bass yeah. that you get out of the sealed cabinet is completely like. Put it this way, I feel so confident, confident with what I'm saying that I am 95% sure right now that if you came into my room, those of you who are watching, right now, if you came into my room, and assuming that you have a system without any subwoofers, just full range speakers, what you hear in here right now in my system when it comes to, the, we're talking right now, the bass, the low registers, the, the fullness, right? You're probably gonna go home and realize more than more, 90%, 95% sure of what your system is not doing with regards to bass. I mean, it is that impressive. The low end here yeah. is incredible. Now, before you go out and say, well, this was just a conversation about the bass. This is not a conversation just about the bass. We're saying one of the greatest highlights is that. Then on top of that, of course, you got other attributes like the, you know, um, the transparency up top, the mid-range, the last gentleman that was here, he said the, the, the images hang dead center. The vocals are literally locked in the middle, yeah. like it's voodoo. Do you feel, what do you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, and, and, and then you have on, a, on private investigation, you have some, some music that comes from the left and the right, and, and you can hear it. it. It's totally, it's the space is really, you can pinpoint. There's uh, nothing every, smeared. Everything no. is spread apart no. and with enough space and around in, the instruments. In the Grieg, uh, you know, in Grieg, um, in the suite that we played again, um, again, you can hear everything uh, where it should be. And so it's, it's quite impressive. And you have that superb bass that, that's, yeah. that anchors the music. Well, um, I hope that you can definitely come and visit again because you're right now the only... Uh, point of reference that I, I have for my viewers that has been here and heard different versions of my system um, and um, You know if in the future I have something else, you know more than welcome to come by and I hope you guys Got something out of this video <coughs> and that you understand what I'm trying to do here I can tell you that the 3050s with this magical s7 and the 3010 along with the MSB select 2 Probably I'm pretty sure that it will leave you breathless um, But there's only one way to find out and that is if you're sitting in that chair Listening to all of these components at once. I've worked tirelessly tirelessly tirelessly. Yeah. Sorry 
for months um, and I think that the system right now is at such a high level that I am more than likely to make mistakes than to make improvements, if that makes any sense. This is how good the system is. It's easier for me right now to mess up what I have than to make it better. It is getting that much more difficult with perhaps maybe the only thing being a, you know, a better speaker than the S7, maybe an M6 or the Sonos Faber Aida 2 or the Alex V, which I already talked about on a previous video. So there's not really much, much more room for improvement. If anything, what I'm doing is kind of just uh, drawing things a little different with perhaps more human, with a human touch, much, organ much more organic and natural, if that makes sense, okay? So, thank you again for coming over. Thank you, I'm looking forward for the turntable stories turn because table, this is gonna be... <laughs> turntable starts next Saturday. What, da what, what date is next Saturday? Uh, uh, well, from today is six, seven. Today is uh, what the seventh? Today is the no, no, uh, yeah, so yeah, the sixth. Yeah, six. Saturday the sixth, November sixth. Okay, the turntable will be set up in here. I will be shooting content. Finally, we get to start that party, and I am so excited to give you my impressions in here. To finally give you some comparisons between some of the best one of the best digital DACs in the world against arguably the best turntable brand in the entire world. So I am super pumped to bring that over to you guys and maybe even do a comparison of the same identical recordings to see what, you know, what happens when you switch from digital to analog. For me, that is super excited. It's exciting because I have never owned a turntable in my life. And if I go by what I heard, with that reel to reel that Oz brought over. Um, and I'm still like try scratching my head about that because it was pretty phenomenal. I am quite oh. nervous. Uh oh. <laughs> I am quite nervous to hear the Kronos because uh, I might be in for a surprise, guys. I, you know, in the beginning I didn't think so, but after hearing that reel to reel, it gave me a lot to think about. So, Anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. Stay tuned for more. Thank you. And please check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com. Peace. Thank you, Jay.